Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to continue on with our little theme of banners and text effects. We're going to be using the Divi Supreme modules plugin today. And you can download Divi Supreme from my affiliate link below this video. Of course we're using the fantastic Divi theme for this. Now yesterday we did some rotating text. Today we're just using a banner using this mask text effect here, which is a really nice little effect to put on your site. And it's part of the Divi Supreme modules. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder to build on the front end. Once it's loaded, I'm going to go down and create a new section. Hit the little blue button there for a new section. I have a regular section. I'm going to make it single column. And right away it's going to prompt us to put in a module. Now the Divi theme itself comes with all these sort of light grey modules here, which is fantastic. And you can take the Divi theme for a 30 day free trial from my affiliate link below this video if you wish to. And all these darker purple texts are the Divi Supreme modules here. And I want the the supreme mask text which is right here so I'm going to put that in there and it has actually put something in there mask text I don't know if you can see that or not before I do anything to it I'm just gonna save that and let's get rid of this section on top here okay firstly I'm gonna put a color in the background of our section here so you can see it blue tab for the section green tab for a row and a little dark tab for the module within so let's go in there, little cog, and I'm simply going to give it, I guess I'll give it this hot pink color we've been using for the rest of the site here. And just to make it stand out a bit more, I'm going to go to the design, down to box shadow, and just give it a little bit of box shadow. Give it that little 3D effect there. Great. This is going to be a pretty quick video because this is really easy to do. So let's go into our mask text module again. And here we are, here we can uh, write whatever text you want to, to reveal there. Um, or whatever it is you want to write, as you can see it's right there. Now, I'm not going to put an image behind it just yet because I want to make it a lot bigger so we can actually see something behind there. So let's go to our design tab to our mask text right here. First I want it capitalized to so make it a lot bigger. I want it a lot bolder so I'm going to make it ultra bold. So when we do put an image behind it you'll actually be able to see something. And you can see a little grey shadow behind there at the moment with the default image that's in there. I want mine to be in the center. Now I really want to make this huge. So I'm going to pull it up all the way I can. And it's doubled up there as you can see. I'm going to keep pulling it up. And what I'm going to do is just save this. I'm going to go into our row and make this row full width so I can extend this banner the whole of the way across the screen if I want to. So we're in the green tab for the row. Hit the little cog. Go into the design. Sizing. I'm going to slide the width all the way up to 100%. And I'm going to copy the 100% Control C and paste it in max width below. And as you can see, it is now stretched. So if I want to, I can make that even bigger, which I think I'll do. Go back into our mask text and put the image in now. I've got a simple image of some fire there that I'll put behind our text. And as you can see, that's put in, that's pretty cool right there. So let's go to a design. I still want to make this a little bit bigger even. So let's go design tab down to our mask mask text <laughs> I can't say that very quickly mask text okay and let's bring it up even more now you may think well we've got the slider all the way up there but you can type in whatever value you want here and use the up and down arrows if you want to so I'm going to say let's try 130 yeah that's going to do it and let's make those letters a little closer together perhaps so we'll go down to mask letter spacing and I'll use these little arrows to go negative on it so they get a lot closer. 
obviously you do what exactly you want to do and that way I can go back and make it even bigger let's try 150 I don't want it to break into two there fantastic huge banner right there and that's pretty much it so let's save those changes take the opacity on this section color down just a little bit just so that text stands out a bit more so I'll just click on the color and this little left hand slider is opacity or see-throughness if you will and it'll make it paler there we go save that let's save our changes be the save a draft or publish your page if you're ready Once saved, let's exit the Visual Builder. And there it is. There's a, a huge eye-catching banner for somewhere on your site, obviously, if you've got a sale on or something. And of course, you can link this section by just simply putting a link in the section background there if you wanted to link it to a different sale page. I've got some sale items on here. But I think that is a great little effect to have on your site. And using... Uh, masked text like this you put any image behind there get some really nice effects going so well done divi supreme plugins you've done it again that's a lovely little effect to have on your site and really easy to do so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our youtube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.